A North Bay High School is facing some tough questions tonight about why staff didn't intervene faster when a student attacked another one in the school cafeteria. That attack and the response were all caught on video at Rodriguez High, and it's circulating online. But as NBC Bears Jody Hernandez tells us, the Fairfield Unified School District says it actually trains its staff to take a hands-off approach until backup arrives. This is the video that has parents in Solano County outraged. A Rodriguez High School girl attacks another girl eating lunch as a staff member stands by. But instead of intervening, she steps out of the way. You have to intervene. You have to do something. You can't just stand by and watch. And she was just watching. Yeah, I'm very surprised at with a zero tolerance for bullying and that type thing that something like that is still going on in our school system here with FSUSD. I'm shocked by that video that you showed me, so it's uh, it's alarming. The campus monitor is seen radioing for help and eventually two administrators break it up. The parents say it went on for far too long before someone stepped in to help. They didn't interfere until she was basically on the ground, really getting hurt. So, no, that's <laughs> it's disturbing to me. So the member of staff that you can see in the video is one of our campus monitors. And in their annual training, they're actually instructed not to physically intervene in this type of altercation and instead to step away and ask for help, which um, that's what she did. A spokesperson for the Fairfield Unified School District says the campus monitor did precisely what she's trained to do. They say for insurance liability reasons, campus monitors are instructed to be hands off. We really care about the safety of our staff members and um, to have someone go in there unaided and unsupported. Um, is unsafe. Parents say they're angry at how it was handled and will be demanding change. They're worried for their children's safety. You can't just be a bystander and watch as, as you know, someone's kid is getting pummeled. It's not right. Yeah, well, I'd like to think when I drop my daughters off that they'll come home in the very same condition I dropped them off in you know, leaving the car that they're not going to come home with even scratches on them because I think we, we'd like to believe in safety in the schools here. For many, that sense of safety has been breached. In Fairfield, Jody Hernandez, NBC Bay Area News.